Guys, welcome Jasper Anton Ivo. <laughs> um, Phronesis, you're the one who started this trio. Are you also the one who came up with the name? Uh, yeah, I was a bit of a bounce, I think, with the name. We were, we were trying to come up with a name which wouldn't just be sort of someone's first name and then generic jazz trio after mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. That seemed like an important thing from the beginning. So, uh, Why was that important? Just because I think it was an, uh, like the vision for the band was to be like a sort of democratic uh, situation, like a real democratic situation, not like the, <laughs> yeah, the many other examples that. that democratic is. when it comes to decisions, or also the, the the equal role of your instruments. Beginning, it started with the equal role of the instruments, but we we make all the decisions as well on a democratic basis. And what does phrenesis mean? I mean, I know what it means approximately, but what mm -hmm. does it mean to you? How does it apply to this group? Well, I guess the um, most um, simple uh, translation is, is uh, uh, practical wisdom, mm -hmm. the, the kind of um, uh, wisdom that you only can get by living a life. and Through experience. Through experience. You can't read it, you can't study it. You have to just let the ears go mm -hmm. by in a good way. Um, I want to talk about your sound. Um, how would you describe the typical phrenesis sound? Do you have a typical phrenesis sound? How would you how would you describe it? Who wants to tell me that? You? We should, we should all, all say we should something. should all say something. Um, this is the this is where all jazz musicians die because when they have to sell their music or sum it up in three words, but you words, don't have to sell then it. Then it's like... very hard. But but I'll I'll try. I'll have a go. So um, accessible, mm -hmm. normally a swear word in the jazz world, but we, I think we can apply that. Mm -hmm. Accessible, sort of groove-driven, modern jazz music. So there's some of those words I have a problem with myself, like the modern thing sounds just always like not very nice, but I guess that's, that's one way of trying to sum it up. Go on, have a mm -hmm. go. Yeah, and I guess what's very important for us as well is dynamics. Dynamics, um, yeah. That's that's what we cherish a lot. Um, also, the the improvisational element of the music. It's important for us to be able to play in the moment and uh, reflect whatever our feelings are in that very moment. We don't have to stick too much to a certain role that is uh, made up before. Yeah. We can take it a bit as it comes. Take yeah. it on the jazzer, as yeah. we uh, <laughs> normally say in this band. Yeah. But if you do that, you really you can do have that to... in life as well. Take yeah. it on the jazzer. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get phrenesis. <laughs> and you'll get phrenesis. Yeah. So you guys really listen really well to one another to, to be able to move this way um, and interact with the, with, the, with the moment or a situation. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what, what should happen. React on each other's um, languages. Yeah, um, I see. Yeah, and interact with that. I see. That's the beauty of this uh, <laughs> impro yeah, improvising genre. It, it's improvising music. Mm -hmm. Jazz, it's so hard to define what jazz is, is. Yeah. but we, uh, we try to refer to it as improvising music. Yeah. 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 Instrumental as well, it, there's no vocals and that also makes it you know, hard, harder to make it accessible because yeah. there's no words, no lyrics that you can relate to. Yeah, so we have to try to do that with our language. That goes really well because when you listen to you guys, you can, it's, it's almost like you hear a certain conversation going on so mm -hmm. um there's a lot of defining going on and i see that's hard for musicians when you have to define your sound and why you have a certain name but then again when it when it comes to your album which is called behemoth yeah very good it's a beast from the, from out of the book of job yeah so wh who is the beast this is fault is he <laughs> but we did about um an album with a big band yeah. in Germany. So it was the German big band that was the beast. Ah. <laughs> but it was a bit more, I remember at the time, someone was giving me a computer monitor, you know, a screen, and it was an old one from the 90s, and it was huge. And he said, it's a bit of a behemoth, you know, this screen. And I thought, that's a, just a great word. And that's it's a brilliant of, <laughs> name. <laughs> I'll have that. Just, <laughs> So that's just really where it came from. And it's just kind of funny as well, because it's not supposed to be 100% taken at face value, you okay. know. Okay. So um, that album, uh, Behemoth, was with the, with the big band. And before yeah. that, you did this album, Parallax. That's right. And the next song you're going to perform is from this album. Um, yes. It's called Silver Moon. Yeah. 
That's a tune by Jasper, which is a dedication to his girlfriend. Just to add, like we all write music for the for the trio, so this is actually, and and the last album is equally sort of a mix of everyone's yeah. tunes, and we democratic. Try and, we try, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna listen to uh, Silver Moon. Great. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers.